Evet. There's opportunity to have a, a, a sand mandalas and you know, complete mandala to have prayers. Also, in English, there's a sand mandala. If you at least know the sand, it's a granite stone and cloud, you know, a black cloud, and become mandala. And also, I have another reason, you know, do prayer before class. Though I thought all of you were going to come attend the prayers. Then I have a test. I put the candle lights. Then I realized only one person of the light. But only one person of all the candle lights. This will what is uh, what is happening this day generally. <clears throat> we Buddhist always fall into extreme in practice. Before we studied Dharma, we were quite extreme about praying, chanting, you know, not offering, offering food things, quite extreme, you know, we didn't study. When we start studying Dharma, also we become quite extreme. Before oh, only chanting and citation, we need to do study and study and study and meditation. It's also uh, very incorrect. So our practice have to be balanced. We need to do chanting and recitation, making offering, prostration, recitation. At the same time, we must study Dharma and practice it in our daily life. As I mentioned uh, yesterday for the public, so Tibetan Buddhist Center uh, did have three intention for making the medicine Buddha's mandala. This is number one. Uh, last few years, you know, whole world, everybody facing the COVID nineteen problems, also having new sickness and disease. So through the making mandala through visualization. So we hope everybody free from uh, the COVID-19, also other serious sickness and disease. This is number two. All of you know, Tibetan Buddhist Center purely you know, sustained based on contribution. The people, the family, the individual who made contribution for center, most of them have health issues, you know, cancer patients, have been sick for many, many years. Also, who made contribution for TBC, those are not really, you know, millionaire and billionaire, that's very uh, simple family. So therefore, second, we have intention for making this mandala to dedicate those um, benefactors, supporters, and volunteers. The reason number three is uh, it happened without making any plan. When his holiness was leaving from Europe to US, and that day we started uh, the blessing the place and land, and then starting the doing the mandala. Exactly, we complete the mandala yesterday. His only is exactly discharged from the hospital. Things look like very good auspicious. This auspicious can be happen when you know like people or disabled has a pure devotions. So this mandala we keep until the sixth morning, the sixth right, six morning, then we will do the the dismantle or dissolving the mandala. Right. So today I thought I will explain a little bit about the mandala. You have been hearing, you know, mandala. According to Buddhist culture, Buddha teachings, there are four types of mandala. 
all just one number. Where you know the high and profound level mandala is uh, the body mandala. The practitioner visualize their own body as a mandala. Second is uh, meditative mandala. The practitioner who wish to have a high realization, then the practitioner can have the mandala based on their own meditations. Part is uh, the painting mandala. Right? So in Tibet and China, Bhutan, you can see many mandala they made by the uh, natural color, the painting mandala. The third is a Tibetan called Dutsum. Dutsum means particle mandala. Particles mandala, not the same mandala. Because ancient time, the first time when Buddha Shakyamuni performed for initiation for the king, that the king built a mandala based on the semi stone, the pressure stone, diamond, you know, like pearls, semi stone. The Gaiji people made the mandala based on the stone, collect a lot of stone and coloring and make mandala. The later in Tibet and Bhutan, they granted a stone, white stone, moonstone, and apply the natural color. So what does mean mandala? So mandala is the place the practitioner can visualize their own like a yitam, like a Buddha, right? So today you have seen the mandala in um, the second floor. There's a out of uh, three circle. In the center, next when you go see, uh, when you see again, in the center, there's a, they made the small throne. On the throne, there's a lotus flower. On the lotus flower, they draw the uh, the medicine Buddha's sutra. In the center, you can see the sutra of medicine Buddha. The sutra taught by Buddha Shakyamuni. Then the you know the next circle you can see seventeen um, object. Sorry, uh, eight begging bowl with the uh, dark blue colors. Then the uh, eight begging bowl are the symbolized symbol of the eight medicine Buddhas. Then the next circle just behind the you know eight Medicine Buddha, then you can see the seven, uh, 17, you know, like a uh, symbol. Each symbol, symbolic of the body, it's uh, 17 bodhisattvas. Then the last circle, you can see 25 objects. All the 25 objects, each of the objects symbolize different, uh, actually 10 directional, directional protectors, then five protectors, plus there's a three, you know, Hindu gods. There's a totally uh, 26. Mm -hmm. 25, 25. They are different deities. So during the uh, medicine Buddha's chanting, today you know the chant master he chanted with, with the melody. That time we visualize all the eight medicine Buddhas come from the Buddha land and then remind you know in the mandala. While we are starting the mantra, so my uh, uh, my case, I visualize all the Buddhas there. Then the the mantra and blessings, the positive energy first goes around all of you, dissolve into you, engage with the extent into other you know, human being, all parts of Singapore, gradually extend all parts of the world. 
and the nectar absorb into each of the human beings, include the sentient beings. At the end, the all the acquisition do the dissolve into each of the human being, each of the sentient being. So this is the short explanation about the Buddhism Buddha's prayers and mandala. And also, so now we are studying the, the Ras, the Ras Sealing Sutra. And I ask all of you to do homework. I hope you, you have done good homework. Us, do you remember what Buddha <coughs> teach to the disciple while he was walking in the, the rice field, the rice field? Whoever sees, remember, dependent origination sees Dharma. Whoever sees Dharma sees Buddha, the three things. Dependent originations, then Dharma, then Buddha. So when you read this sentence, it's very simple, looks very simple. When you really think about the meaning, the dependent origination, right? Then uh, Shariputra asks question to the uh, Avalokiteshvara. Right. So what does mean dependent origination? Then the answer what the answer are remember <laughs> something <laughs> something exists because something already exists. Something arises or born because something already born. Then ignorance cause formation. The first three uh, uh, words is very important. When you think about the meaning in your daily life, for us, for you, very easy to overcome the any kinds of problems. Physical, physical problems or emotional problems. Because sometimes when we feel, right, when we feel, or we we have been, uh, look, we been unhappy for a few weeks. But we never think why I am, you know, not happy for a few weeks. Then the answer here, you have been unhappy for a long time because something already exists. The cause of unhappiness, the cause of suffering was already there. Therefore, you have all the sufferings and all the problems, right? If you realize, yes, I have this problem, this suffering, because the cause are there, then what are you going to do? Immediately, you know, without a kind of delay, you think how I can control, how I can remove the cause of suffering, right? Cause of suffering. When you're able to remove the cause of suffering, you no need to remove the suffering. The suffering going to remove, how you say, naturally or automatically. Right? That's again. The cause is, or the co causes and condition are impermanent. Therefore, the result, any kinds of result are impermanent. You know, the cause are born or arise or impermanent. You know, the cause which is produced, you know, the cause are impermanent. But when you think the meaning, then Actually, if you really not just you know verbally able to say, if you really believe, fully understood, the cause are impermanent. Therefore, the result must be impermanent. If you really understood, then there's no way 
you can have a kind of little bit depression, anxiety. Because the problem I have or one week or two weeks or one year or two years, the problem I have, the problem can be changed because of any kinds of problem is impermanent because the costs are impermanent. But when we have a problem, a small or big or very serious problem, what do we think? Look like the problem with me, you know, with us, Look like forever, right? Forever. We never think the problem I have today, the problem I have can be changed tomorrow. The problem I have today, the problem can be no more tomorrow, being permanent. Number one. Number two, it's also very common in this day, in the past, whatever, you know, some good thing happened in your life without having any kind of expectation. Some that thing happen, how do you feel? You'll be so happy, you'll be so joy. And you never think the happiness you have, the good thing happen in your life, you never think it can it going to be change. When it's change, then what do you think? What do you feel? We feel very, very, very upset. Therefore, every moment we need to remember. The my you know the best friend around me, the you know the very nice family around me, the, the one of the best kind of you know best of the best friend around you are impermanent, impermanent. Look like you know this you know we are in Singapore. In Singapore have around six million people. The six million people in Singapore just gather, gathering for how many months, how many years. The one day, everybody will to depart. This day, how many human beings in this world, on the planet, how many human beings? Seven billion or eight billion. Imagine eight billion people, no more after 100 years. Within the 100 years, eight billion people, no more there. So it's, it's true, but problem we have, we never try to understand how things exist, how thing is you know functioning around us, how our family you know gathering together, how we together, how long we together, we always need to think. Therefore. The, you know, the costs are impermanent, therefore the result must be impermanent. Then the third one, one cost cannot arise everything. Right? One cost cannot arise everything. Therefore, particular cause can arise particular result. A very particular causes can produce particular product. Therefore, for example, ignorance form formation or karma. So when you think about one particular cause can form particular result, mean what we want. What do we want? We want Happiness, right? You want happiness. Whether you are Singaporean, no Singaporean, whether you are young and old, whether you rich or poor, no matter, everybody seeking happiness, right? Happiness. For, for 24 hours, we are seeking happiness. The happiness which we are, have been seeking, the happiness we wish to achieve, the happiness also must come from a very particular causes and condition, right, condition. Therefore, what happened in our life? Since, you know, you finish your kind of uh, uni or college, since you have a job, you always wish, I want to be happy. I want to be happy. 
my family, we wish my family are happy. We wish to be happy, right? Are you happy all the time? No. It's fact. No. Then what's wrong? You want happiness. We want happiness. But we never able to be happy. What was wrong? Because we don't not able to recognize a particular cause which is can produce happiness. And again, we don't want suffering. Right? We, nobody wants suffering. Am I right? Nobody. So we try to avoid, we try to reduce, we try to control suffering somehow, almost let's say, you know, 30, 40, 50, 60 years, we don't able to control the suffering. What's wrong? Because we don't understand how to control the suffering, how to control the cause of suffering, because we are not able to recognize the particular, you know, the, the precise cause of suffering. Therefore, the ignorance is the primary cause. Clear? The ignorance is very particular cause to arise suffering. So in order to understand ignorance, you know, form formation, formation from consciousness, so in our, you know, kind of dependent origination. First, what we need to learn, we need to learn dependent, dependent origination based on the, the outer phenomenon, external phenomenon. Because we have been dealing with the external phenomenon for many years, we can understand that how the flower is growing, how tree can be grow. We understand that. Likewise, in order to understand the, the inner dependent origination, first we must understand how the external phenomena arise. So is mentioned seven cause and condition, right? What are they? External dependent origination arise based on the six elements. What are they? Earth, water. So right, that you say earth elements, earth element, water element, fire element, then the air elements, then the time and the space. We must say elements. Among the like the six, one is missing, then the external phenomena cannot be function. Let's say you want to move here to there, but you need, we need a space. Without space, you cannot move. Yes, there's a space. If you don't have a time, you cannot move. You need a time to move from here to there. Yes, there's a space, there's a move, uh, there's a space, there's a time. You have a time, there's a space, but you have four elements, you are busy, one of the four elements, also you cannot move. Right. This is the external phenomenon. So today we learn more about the, the internal, uh, the inner dependent originations. Okay, uh, I think we have a different page. So just within the, uh, your notebook, whatever you see you have, Similarly, inner dependent arising also arises from two principles, right? two principles, inner dependent origination. From what two principles? From a causal relation and conditional relation. Same thing is also arising from causes and condition. What then? Is the causal relation inner dependent arising? It starts with the ignorance, causing formation, and so on, until finally is reached the birth causes aging and death. Aging and death. The last is aging and death together with one, one number, right? Another two, one. In our life, 
there can be, you know, can be different types of suffering. The most difficult suffering we cannot bear, death. Right? You're okay. You can you you are, you you are, can you can be happy without car. You can be happy like without house and food. If somebody say, "Oh, you're going to die tomorrow," you feel you cannot accept. One of the difficult suffering is the, the death. So nobody want to you know nobody want to die, right? But whether we want or not, one day. One day, what happened? Die. Therefore, since we were born, last in one day, surely you know we're going to die. The death will come. For us, we never think about death. We just think about I want to have a happy. I want to enjoy this life. So one day, you realize we have only one years. We have only one year. After one year, you, you, somebody asks, someone told you, you, you are going to die. You feel very suffering. Uh, you don't want death. I don't want to die. How we can stop death? If we are able to stop taking rebirth, then we can stop death. Then how we can stop, you know, like taking rebirth? is go all the way to formation. Formation can be stopped when we are able to stop ignorance. Here, yeah, ignorance. Therefore, as a Buddhist, you know, we believe in divulgation, we do recitation, chanting, we believe in karma. We believe, really, we really believe. But we never try to understand what is the, the primary cause of suffering. Any kind of suffering we have actually is caused by ignorance. But we are able to say ignorance, but we don't understand, you know, what does mean ignorance. It's not easy to, you know, understand ignorance. When you when we hear oh, ignorance means you are maybe you are very careless, you don't know anything. You say, Oh, you are, you are very ignorant means. You don't know much. Right? So this is the mistake. It's a serious mistake. Ignorance is the a mind which is apprehend the opposite of the reality. Reality, right? Opposite of the reality. For example, what is the color of this book? White. The reality of the color of this book is white. That right? white. When you see the book, when you see the book with a sunglass, you cannot see the book color is white. Can be green, can be yellow, can be dark. Cannot see. But you haven't realized you are you wear sunglass. You thought that the book color is yellow. Yellow. But then ignore is a total opposite. The nature, the color is white. The mind, the ignorant, apprehend the color is yellow. Example. Therefore, the reality of the phenomena, okay, the reality of the, any kind of phenomena, you know, like form or consciousness or Buddha or Sanjali, all phenomena, the nature, the reality, how they are look like. All are look like just totally empty of inherent existence. All phenomena, any kinds of phenomena are their nature is their nature are empty of inherent existence, empty of independent existence. Okay, just think about. You know, you can you can imagine you know one of the, you are you know the kind of the best friend, one of the your best phenomena. You just imagine, visualize the phenomena in front of you. The phenomena in front of you is there, but the phenomena is not independent phenomena. 
what does mean not independent phenomenon? Is there, there as a kind of, you know, collectively exist there, not independently exist there. For example, book, right? What is this? This is a book. When you open, you know, page by page, what is this? This is a cover of the book, right? Cover, and then first page, second page, page, page by page. And finally, you really cannot see the book as a, as a independent, right? The book means there's a some, there's an object we designate it as a book, as a book. The book is not as there as an independent. Like the human being, like me, and me and you, which I think I am. Someday is very strange, you can you just use a <coughs> mirror, mirror, right? Mirror. Just look at your face in the mirror. Then you think, huh, am I look like this? Right? Then you just check which one me. You look at the mirror, which one be my nose, my you know, like the tongue, my head, my hair. You, just, you analyze. When you analyze, you know, like parts by parts, then there's no independent eye, right? No independent eye. Likewise, same way, when you're really angry with someone, angry with someone, because, you know, the anger is one of the very, you know, kind of uh, strong negative thoughts, bring a lot of suffering. When the anger arises within yours, in your mind, things become very different. Uh, usually, you very much like, you know, one very good, like you, you say, let's say, we everybody like laksa. Imagine, we like laksa. You really like the laksa, you went to the restaurant, which you go every day, you very much like the laksa. Suddenly, you get, you, you get very angry. Right? You are very angry. Why you are angry, be angry, when you eat the laksa, can you feel the test as same as before? Cannot. Everything is totally different. The food tastes is different. The people who serve you food, you say, you also you say the person is very, you know, ugly or very no good. Totally change. But the person is same, the food is same, the house is same, the hot, everything is same. What happened? Your mind is totally controlled, influenced by anger, by anger, anger. Therefore, when you realize thing is now very looks very positive, you need to realize things neither positive nor negative. Things are neutral, but your mind become become negative. Therefore, things become negative. So when you realize things, because you know, things for me, everything is very negative because my anger, then what you need to do? You need to change. You need to control your anger. Right? You need to control your anger. Usually how you control your anger? Anybody can say, how you control your anger? How do you control your anger? Huh? Ignore the person. Yes, is in a one way when you're very angry with someone, you don't think about the person. Also, anger becomes a little bit calm, right? It's not the right kind of uh, right way to handle anger. Then, so how do you handle your anger? You listen music. Yes, when you listen pleasant music for the ten B, you are okay. But this also you not know, the right way to control your anger. Ignoring is not the right way. Uh, diverse, uh, diverse your thoughts is also not the right way. So what is the right way to control your anger? First, you need to remember the person, right, person. Then you need to remember why I'm angry with the person. Why? You need to find the reason. 
the person you whom you really envy, the person is just their piece of you know kind of phenomena, you 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 label, you know, this person is good, this person is bad. Therefore, in order to handle anger, you need to remember the person, you need to remember why I'm angry with the person. Then the person whom you very angry, you must think he or she make me angry. But in the other hand, right, he or she kind of you know support for me quite long time. It's very common in your family, right? Last few months, you are very you have a good relationship, you are friends and family. Somehow then the, the good relationship change into a negative relationship. When you have the you know negative relationship with your friends or family, what you can remember? You can remember only the bad things, right? Bad things. Also, when you meet friends, you tell only negative about the person. You never tell the positive things about the person. First, you, you need to remember all the posit posit positivity of the person. That means reduce. Then slowly you need to remember that you know the person whom you really don't like. The person for the time be just maybe one year, two years, the person is like a kind of my enemy. In the reality, actually, the, the, the person you consider as an enemy, maybe he or she you are you know, best friend in your previous life. You don't know. Maybe he or she, maybe your mother in the previous life. Maybe he or she, you know, maybe saved your life for many times in the previous life. If you think this way, then also the anger going to control or minimize, able to minimize. But in order to eliminate the anger of the person, you need to cultivate, okay? You need to cultivate compassion towards the particular person. Then the, the you know, the anger particular person towards the person going to reduce, going to eliminate. Because anger, you know, apprehend the person as the enemy. The compassion or kindness apprehend the person as a friend. Therefore, anger and the compassion totally opposite in our kind of mind. When anger arises, the compassion going to reduce. But I'm talking what best of one particular person. When the compassion arises, what happened? The anger towards the person going to reduce. Reduce one day. Look like you don't have any more anger towards the person. That this a particular cause, you know, particular result. Therefore, you need to remember why I'm angry, why I'm happy, because everything you know coming from within yourself in inner dependent originations. Ignorant cause formation and so on, and, and then the death. Until finally, from the existence of birth comes aging and death. Ignorant does not think I produce formation, nor do formation think we are produced from ignorance and so on. Finally, birth does not think I produce aging and the death, nor I do aging and death think. I am produced by birth. Nevertheless, formation take from the arising through the existence of ignorance and so on until finally aging and death take form and arise through the existence of death. Mm -hmm. uh, so the, the, the sequence of dependent, or, uh, uh, de, uh, dependent origination is very important. If you really want to do, let's say, you know, Meditation. Do meditation on the 12 dependent originations. Just think, you know, read the books, 
and think I'm going to have it. Finally, you, you must have a strong conviction that aging and death will come because I was born. I was born. But I was born because all the way to the you know, formations. The formation exists because of the ignorance. Therefore, we need to know, daily we need to know until, you know, not eliminating ignorance, suffering, aging, death, never going to, you know, like an end. And until now, how we practice the Dharma, how we practice the Dharma, right? until now, we never target the root of the suffering. We never target, uh, you know, the, uh, the root of the happiness. We just, you know, uh, target like uh, other parts of cause of the happiness, other parts of the you know, uh, root, of, root of the sufferings. Because many many Buddhist people, many of the Buddhist people all over the world, many Buddhist people, when they have a problem, what they say, it is my karma. And many people say, it's my karma. Yes, all the, the problem you have, it may be your karma or maybe some other condition, we don't know, but 100% sure the problem you have because of the ignorance, the ignorance. This day, many people have a you know, lot of suffering, being a, you know, like heavy, being a fatty, become very fat, then a lot of suffering, right? They cannot move, they cannot walk, they cannot breathe, diabetes, sugar, all the problems they have because of the ignorance. They don't know how much to eat, they don't know what kind of food they must eat, they consume all kinds of food for many, many times, for another person become very heavy. Right? This thing happened because of the root is ignorance. Therefore, the, uh, the, uh, the root of the suffering is uh, ignorance, all the way to ignorance. How the condition relation in our dependent arising to be sins is due to the coming together of the six elements. As due to the coming together of what six elements? Namely, the conditional relation in inner dependent arising is to be seen as a due to the coming together of the elements of the earth, water, fire, wind, space, and consciousness. In the outer phenomena, we said time. Inner dependent arising, say consciousness. It's, 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 it's a very you know, deep meaning. Let's say, oh, the person is still survive. What does it mean? A person, the consciousness is still functioning within the body. That when say when we say, oh, the person is, is no more. What does it mean? The person left, the consciousness left the body, left the body, left the body. Therefore, consciousness from the body, when the body function with the person, you know, function with the consciousness, the person can feel happiness and suffering. When the consciousness left the body, the body is just kind of piece of kind of like a Phenomena. There's nothing we can consider as a you know ugly or beautiful. Nothing. It's a piece of phenomena. Phenomena. Consciousness. Right? Consciousness. Then what does mean consciousness? Consciousness. Here, what is the earth element in inner dependent arising? That which is assembled to form solidity of the body is called the earth. This is quite easy understanding. You know, we have the uh, uh, five elements, then the other way to the consciousness. This one, I don't think you need explanation. Now we move all the way after the water elements. The water elements, the fire elements, the wind elements, the space elements, and the conscious elements are also not a self, not a being, not a life force, not a creature. Not a human, not a person, not female, not male, not nature, not me, not mine, not anybody else. The, the, you know, the sixth element, the inner sixth element, 
come together mean they cannot all come together they cannot be independent because all come together then we name the person when the two things function you know together dependent each other then the, surely the, the one phenomena cannot function independently like for example you're working with the two legs so you're you're working with the two legs you're not working with the independent one leg you're working with the dependent on two legs but therefore things come together then the thing has a particular function the, this function is happened because the things many things come together that the, fun the function is happening does mean nothing can have a function as a if the things exist independently independently the thing, thing doesn't have a, any function because if things independent no need to depend on others no need to depend on others then how the you know the, the phenomena can have a function and not therefore there is no self not a being not a life force not a creature not a human person here what is the ignorance that which is perceived perceives the same six element to be un unity all permanent constant constant yeah the first one unity unity the unity Ign what does ignorance is it that which perceive these six same six element to be unity or permanent being a life force, creature, the soul, a man, individual, human, person, me, and I, along with many of us, such as the creation of this expression, the ignorance. Now, so all this was, it hard to explain what does mean ignorance, ignorance. The six element, elements come together and the, the function is happening. But for us, for us, for example, when you think about your friend, when you think about one, one of your best friend, for you, the friend is look like very independent. You never think you, your best friend is there as a dependent on many parts, dependent, dependent on, on the six elements or de dependent on many parts. For us, your friend is just independent. When you think about your car, you never think the car has a many, many parts. Very interesting, sometimes when you open the, the car, what you call that? In front of you open? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Look at, when you look at the car far away, the car looks very nice, right? When you open the walnut, you can see there's no such a say, oh, the car is so nice. There's nothing nice. When you open the doors, particularly when, when you open the, the seat, seat cover, mm -hmm. right? Because we pay a lot of money for buying sofa seat. Mm -hmm. right? Sofa seat, right? When you open the cover, mm -hmm. wow, you really, when, when you see before you buy, when you see uh, the sofa seat without covering, I don't think you will pay that one money, <laughs> right? right? Likewise, when you think about your friends or your husband, your you know, boyfriend or girlfriend, you think, wow, he or she or so nice. Just imagine you just remove the skin. <laughs> right? Because we have an ignorance. We never think my friend or my teacher, my guru, whoever, they are just, you know, many things come together, then we never as a friend but not just we name we name my friend but at the same time we we have a strong attachment that attachment so when we have attachment if somebody asks you you have an attachment for the person which kind of parts your money is attaching to 
of the phenomena. Many people will say, I don't know, right? Many people, I don't know, I have a transmit from the phenomena. I have a transmit the car. Somebody will say, oh, because I really have a, a trans, I really like the car because the car is very famous. Is the famous, right? Then why the car is so famous? Why? There's no such a reason. Therefore, first we need to know the phenomena around me as a kind of you know, like a illusion, illusion, illusion person, illusion person. There's no such as, you know, unity. Uh, the whole permanent, uh, constant. Things are not as like a unity, but the ignorance perceive the thing as a unity. Then things are not as a whole, the ignorant perceive things as a whole. The things are not permanent, but the ignorant perceive as a permanent. Permanent, right? Therefore, is this a kind of definition of the ignorance? Simple way you just, you just think, ignorant means I have a I have a mind, I have a consciousness. The consciousness always perceives, you know, the opposite of the reality. Clear? The ignorance means I have a mind. The mind always perceives the opposite of the reality. Reality. Ignorant means. Then next, um, oh, there's a, a lot of quotes about ignorance. The next uh, ignorance, then which is distinguishing between individual object as a consciousness, consciousness and the four appropriate aggregates that emerge in the conjunction with its, its name and form. So it's talking about, uh, in, you know, without uh, read all the line. Now we just think about ignorance of the person. Mm -hmm. Ignorance about the person, particularly ignorance about you yourself. Yourself. Since we were born, we think about always think about me. All, we always talk about me, that like me and me. Next few minutes, you just ask, you know, analyze where you are. You seriously think about where you are, whom you are. Just think about where you are in your head, in your heart. Where are you? You know, which part of your body, which consciousness are you? Are you inside the body? Are you exist, you know, outside the body? Where are you? Who you are? Think about it. Yes, my head is not me. Then my eyes are not me. Then my, you know, air is not me. Nose, tongue, all parts of any parts of my body are not me, right? Not me. Then my consciousness, my anger is not me. My compassion is not me. My ego is not me. Then who you are? Who we are. We have been think, saying, have been thinking, me and me, me. Also, we, you know, somebody said, you are very ugly. So we get angry, we fighting with the person, but we don't know ourselves. We don't know, we, we don't know ourselves. We are ugly or we are not ugly. Or somebody say, you are ugly, we get angry. Somebody say, oh, you look so good, so nice. We feel happy, but we don't know who we are. Right. Therefore, when we study the not, not just only open the book, not just you know uh, read the sentence, 
we, we need to do the serious, you know, kind of investigation, serious study, try to understand who you are, where are you, how you are exist, how you how you are, we have a function. So, so okay. Today our class we can stop here. We have our uh, eight minutes. We can have a time for Q and A. Q and A. Okay, please feel free. We have a. You can have any question related to our class, related to Dharma. Any question you can ask. Yes. You have a question? No. Okay. Um, your question ask very simply, okay? <laughs> Just ask the question. Don't share your experience. Thank you. If there's no me, yeah. No, 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 no. There's you, there's a me. I'm here, you are there. But <laughs> you are not independent, you. I'm not independent, me. No independent me, no independent you. Okay. Okay. See, no. huh? See, I, I make me pay, not I pay help. <laughs> yes. That's when, when I touch your hand, you can feel right. Uh, if your hand is you. Uh, not you, but yes. I'm talking you. Me. Huh? Yeah. Is your hand is you? Yeah. How many? You have a two you. Right hand is you, left hand also you, your head is you. How many of you? Oh, this one is mini you. The big you is the mind. <laughs> the, the big me uh, is the awareness consciousness. Uh, oh. Looking at the mind, the, the five aggregate, looking at everything. At okay, the... here what he was saying that if the big consciousness of the big awareness is me. Again, Consciousness and the person is totally contradict, contradiction phenomenon. Person is another consciousness. Consciousness never be the person. If your if your consciousness is you, then how you can say my consciousness? You cannot say. If your consciousness is you, then you cannot say my consciousness. Right? We cannot say. Okay. So you you, you have to be very clear. You know, Buddha never say there's no I. There's no no independent I. There's no inherent I. I is mainly dependent on my five aggregate. Based on the five, five aggregates, there will be level, you know, a sentient being or human being, a male and female. Clear? Okay. Any question? Yes. How does the ignorance Produce karma. Okay. Yes. Do, uh, also, yeah. Thank you for asking the question. Also, thank you for question. He is asking how ignorant produce karma. What does mean karma? Karma is an action. Can be positive action. Can be negative action. Can be neutral action. Formation karma is action. Exactly. Karma or karma is Sanskrit words. When we act, any action we take, the action, behind the action, there must be a motivation, right? Without intention, without motivation, you cannot act. There must be a motivation, there must be intention. In short, second, how ignorance really produce this? We are talking about is that negative karma and positive karma, negative and positive, right? Let's say, Somebody very much like to kill. Somehow, person like to kill, you know, killing or stealing, lying things like that. The person very much like like to kill something, you know, killing or stealing or deceiving, whatever the person doing. The person, if self has some, they really don't know the consequence of the action. Consequence of the action. Number one. Number two, the person think this devotion, if I deceive someone, I can be very happy. For the short time, the person can be happy. For the long time, the person have a lot of problem, a lot of suffering. These are the you know, gross definition of ignorance. The precise 
ignorant, how ignorant to lose karma. Therefore, I said, when we do action, action, that any kind of action is the ignorant as a foundation there. Ignorant is a like a foundation. Foundation. Then due to ignorance, attachment arise. Due to ignorance, attachment arise. Due to attachment, all the you know the negative action, deceiving, killing, lying, all the things happen because of the attachment. You have attachment to money, you have attachment to the position, you have, you have attachment because then you do all the action. Also, fighting, killing, you know, harming other also is happening because of the anger, because of the hatred. The anger and hatred arise because of ignorance. Therefore, I tell you, you know, so when you get angry to someone, someone anger arise to someone, for you, the enemy is very, very independent. Independent. When you are attached and trust something or someone, the things look like very independent, look like real there. Mm -hmm. We thought depends on many parts, many parts. Therefore, ignorance totally cover, it look like cover the reality of the phenomena. Then the anger attachment arise. Then we take in, we, you know, we, we take action, action arise. I told you the story, right? Let's say, you know, I'm one of the richest person in Singapore, let's say. Right, let's say. Then I, I hold a, like a mala, a crystal mala, like a, maybe glass mala. Surely all of you think, wow, he, this mala must be very expensive, right? You assume, right? Surely you will think, wow, the mala must be very expensive. The watch must be very expensive, right? Then if I give the mala to you, you feel so happy. Right? If you lost the mala, what happened? You will be very upset. If somebody still steal your mala, you will be very angry. Everything happened angry, attachment, even happiness happy because you have ignorance about the mala. Right? The mala is simple glass mala, made of glass. You think this is the diamond. Diamond. Right? Therefore, first you have ignorance about the Mala, then attachment, anger, everything arises. Therefore, how ignorance, you know, uh, produce or formation or action or karma, right? Any question? No more time, right? Any question? Okay. So today can be the last uh, class uh, for next. So there's no class for another two months. After I come back, then I will continue Maybe one class with the Rasini Sutra, then I will move to the, the middle stage of the meditation. Then gradually, I will, you know, we teach the uh, Buddhist other way of life. Right? So I'm going away for more than two months. Then all of you, please, you know, continuously read the books, try to understand the twelve link in independence, particularly try to understand ignorance, not just ignorance, but you realize ignorance how to understand the opposite of the ignorance is a wisdom. The wisdom relies the reality, which is emptiness. Right? Because we spend a lot of time with the Dharma. Right? We spend a lot of time, we spend a lot of money for the Dharma, but sometimes we feel, you know, I feel this kind of a little bit not upset, feel very, feel sorry. You know, we spend a lot of time with the Dharma. <clears throat> Actually, we really don't know the actual pure Dharma. Dharma. Yes, remember what Dharma means? There's a two, right? Path and the cessation. For us, Dharma means always we remember, you know, recitation, chanting, prayer, you know, visiting all the holy places. For us, this means these are the actual Dharma. Therefore, we spend many years, but we're not able to recognize the pure dharma. We spend a lot of time, we, unfortunately, we're not able to practice the actual dharma. Therefore, I said you read the books, 
and really try to understand you know, more precisely, then you, not just understanding whatever you have a knowledge about Dharma, you must apply, you know, when you are needed. Needed, right? Okay, so I want to say this today. So, so we will see maybe after two months. So this morning we have done the meditation with the prayer, with the pure motivation, based on taking refuge. Also we start our dharma with a good intention, pure motivation. With a pure intention, good motivation, surely we have accumulated uh, also merit. All the merit we accumulated today, in the past, in the future, all together, we dedicate ourselves able to realize the pure, the actual dharma, able to practice dharma until we become a Buddha, until we free from suffering. Also, we dedicate all the merits together to be able to renounce all sentient beings, the actual dharma, free all sentient beings from suffering. Also, we dedicate our merits in the past, present, and future for world peace, particularly the country who are having a lot of wars. Last, we dedicate the merit to live long life his own Dalai Lama, because he's not just you know Tibetan, he, he has a millions of millions of power, lower. Also, millions of people <clears throat> have been you know, receiving benefit from him. It's so important him to live long life. Jamba Bagger, Jedra Jamba, Gundos on board the young Dizzy. Jedra Gunji, Jesuva, the Lord, and Gavadi, the Danger. Jesu, she bear your word, and Jay, you walk on La Chocolate. Lagi gave us a one degree. Some boys, Jedra, the boom over a year, and you was in your My year, only a bundle of Pelora show, Tony Tower in Boja, my dear Mana Magig. There are the bar, never I am only a bundle of Pelora show. Okay, thank you. Have a happy Sunday. Thank you. Thank you, Kishila. Thank you.